Now let's edit the built-in overlay state to add the measured coin diameter to the non-destructive image overlay. Begin by going to image overlay right here. And I need to clear a little bit of space in the middle for some extra code. Let me push this down to the side. I'll make a copy of format into string. And sometimes it's hard to get access to terminals on the top. Let me uh, omit the label on that one. So now it's easier to create the string constant. And this is for the measured coin diameter. I'll put in diameter equals percent 0.2 G millimeters. So that's a floating point value with two significant digits. And then percent D is for the integer version for diameter in pixels. We'll tap the data highway here and pull out diameter in pixels and diameter in millimeters. I think I'm actually going to switch the order of this so it lines up with the format into string VI. All right, and just a little bit of tidying up. Let's tap that here on the side. All right, I can bring in the string output into the initial string for what is now the second format into string VI. I would like the times and date stamp to appear on the second line. So I'll insert a backslash N for a new line character. I need to get the air cluster attached. And let me clear a little bit of extra space out here. Grab the air cluster, feed that into the input of the existing format into string. Finally, I think it's helpful on these string formats to put down a little bit of explanation of what they are for. So we'll call that coin measurement results.